Tuner fans, and welcome to the special game day edition of OU Nightly. I'm Allison Harris. Well, about 60 Harvard students walked out of an introductory economics class today to show support for the Occupy Wall Street movement. The class is taught by a former Bush administration economic advisor who now works with candidate Mitt Romney. The students were showing their discontent with what they say is a biased course. The professor says he's glad the students are focusing more on social and economic policy issues. Since 1600 daycare operators in the state don't have coverage, Representative Mike Shelton wants daycare operators to carry a minimum of $200,000 in coverage. If some home-based daycare operators choose not to, they would have to notify parents that they don't have liability insurance. Family and friends paid their final respects to the voice of the Sooners this week. Funeral services for Bob Barry were held at St. John's Episcopal Church in Norman. President David Bourne and Coach Bob Stoops were among those in attendance. Barry is an OU journalism graduate. He retired last year after 50 years of calling college games in Oklahoma. Good evening and welcome to OU Nightly. I'm Allison Harris. An Oklahoma man gets his kicks on Route 66 and has a commemorative tattoo to prove it. Ron Jones has 103 tattoos and all but one show locations from along Route 66. He hasn't gotten a new tattoo for a while. He says he's running out of blank canvas. An unexpected water show in San Diego when a car slammed into a fire hydrant. The water pressure was so powerful, it lifted the car into the air. The car was hovering about 10 feet above the street. Neighbors say that once the car shot up, people ran as far as they could from the vehicle. Police say the car may be stolen. Well, it's the third day of CAC Homecoming Week, and today there were three homecoming events on campus, beginning with the display of the themed South Oval Boards. The boards are an OU homecoming tradition. And also on campus today was Homecoming Holdup, which held student volunteers captive until their respective organization raised $200 for the OU Children's Hospital. The event raised over $3,300 to help Oklahoma children with illnesses and diseases. Taylor Singleton will have more on homecoming events later in OU this week. Well, I just I think that that's great. Early in the newscast, we talked about the reduction in men's basketball prices down to forty dollars, the price of one home game football ticket. That's, that's really awesome, unbelievable. Yeah. A Coach lot of Kruger, fun. Coach, Coach Kruger is definitely a uh, he's big into the students. That's great. I remember talking to him, and that was one of his goals was to get the prices reduced. So let's hope that a lot more students will come and support them then. And now Shelby Hayes is here for a quick look at upcoming weather. Plus, with homework in the palm of your hand, it's hard to make excuses why you don't have it. Check out the Norman Public School System's new smartphone app straight ahead on OU Nightly. Founder and CEO of C-SPAN, Brian Lamb, received the Gaylord Prize today. He's a visionary and innovative leader. I got to talk to him about how he realized his passion to create C-SPAN and how he mustered up the confidence to go out and actually achieve that. Well, Brian Lamb was definitely very tenacious when going out and achieving his goals, and that's what he recommends to students upon graduation. And now Betty Scott, Director of Career Services, is here to talk with us about how to land that first job. And Betty, what are ways that you can fast track your way to an internship or a job? The OU Price College of Business's entrepreneurship program is ranked in the top 10 nationally. That's according to the latest report from the Princeton Review. The college provides students with entrepreneurial experience both inside and outside of the classroom, giving students opportunities in national business competitions. The goal of the program is to encourage curiosity and creative thinking. Wheeler predicts that with the competitive students they have now, the entrepreneurship program will be ranked in the top 10 for years to come. And when I walked in the building today, it was raining outside. I'm not sure if it's still raining outside right now, but it is going to get a lot cooler later. And I'm Allison Harris. City Council is working on Norman's emergency alert system. Police and fire representatives met with Councilman Tuesday to discuss the public safety software solution. That's a four-part project to improve the alert system. The project would help officers, firefighters, and medical technicians to better respond to emergency calls. Oklahoma County District Judge Daniel Owens today temporarily blocked the new abortion restriction law from going into effect on November 1st. The law would restrict the ways in which doctors can treat women with abortion-inducing drugs. The measure was passed earlier in the year by the GOP-controlled legislature and signed by Governor Mary Fallon. Well, one Ohio town became a zoo today, literally. Let's take it to the News Center where Erin Cahill has more on that story and others from around the world. Stay tuned for this and more tonight on OU Nightly.